coming down. Grizzlies down one. Moran attacks. Hangs. Bank. No. Tip by Adams is in. With six to set the screen. Garland. Karis LeVert. Three seconds. Garland. Two seconds. A three. His blood right works. Hammer. Nail. Bumping. This baby. It's a parade inside my city. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Uh, John Beretta, the Memphis Grizzlies are a phenomenal home team. Shout out to my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. They currently got the best home record in the league. When you go down to Memphis and you go into the grind house, that is the FedEx form, you're probably going to lose. I'm just be honest with you, especially in the regular season, you're probably going to lose. Memphis is no joke at home. They have had some phenomenal gains for their team inside of that building i want to show a few of them to you as the season winds down let's rock out and see some of the biggest moments for good or for bad for the memphis grizzlies at home this year so good to have the nba back so good to have job morant back the memphis grizzlies kicking off their 22 23 campaign at home hosting the new york knickerbockers and it's job ja morant going to work early he might be the most exciting player in the league Behind the back, oopsies to Brandon Clark. Morant had 18.6 assists in the first half. Memphis led it 61-46. Knicks would get down by as many as 19, but then Julius Randle and company said enough is enough. Randall, 24 points, 11 boards. How about Jalen Brunton making his Nick debut? 19, nine and six for Brunson. We got a tight one in the fourth. It's Morant. Who you gonna call when you need a bucket? How about call Ja? 34 and nine assists for Ja. Knicks down three in the closing seconds of regulation. It's Cam Reddish tying it up. Three of his 22. Last chance for Memphis in the fourth. It's Ja and no. This is reviewed and called an offensive foul. The bucket is no good. We would go to overtime for these two teams first game of the season. In the extra period, it's Tyrus Jones knocking in the three. On the other end, it's Evan Fournier with a chance to tie and send it to double OT. It's no good. A game that was dominated by Memphis for the most of it ends up being a Grizzlies OT win, 115-112. Some really talented basketball players going at it on a random Monday night early in the NBA season. John Moran and the Memphis Grizzlies hosting Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets in the first quarter. It's Ben Simmons with an immaculate dime to KD. And then on the other end, it's John ja Morant. He got busy early and often. 16 first quarter points for Mr. Morant. Look at the incredible shot making by none other than Durant. And then on the other end, after the turnover, it's Tyrus Jones going up top to Mr. You-Know-Who. Morant had 24 first-half points. KD's got a running mate, and he's back healthy and balling. It's Kyrie. He had 16 points in the first half himself. Third quarter we go. You-Know-Who again. Ja gathering the miss and putting it in. Congratulations to KD with that bucket. He passes by Alex English for 20 of all time on the NBA scoring list. Third quarter winding down, it's Desmond Bain. Three of his 38 points. Look at Irvin, schooling, willing, and dealing. Kyrie had 37. KD had 37. Desmond Bain had 38. And guess what? His running mate, Ja Morant, also with this dagger at 38 points, the Memphis Grizzlies win a thriller in the form. What up, M-Town? 134-124 is your final. By the way, the first time since 1983 that you had two teammates on both teams go for 35 or more. I'm never turning down a duel between Jason Tatum, his Boston Celtics, and John Morant, and his Memphis Grizzlies. This one went down to the wire in the first quarter. It's none other than Jason Tatum getting Boston off to a hot start. Tatum wiggling all over the court. JT getting to the money early and often. Tatum putting on a show for the Memphis crowd. He had 25 first half points. 
Check out this play by Dylan Brooks to track down Jalen Brown, throw it over his head, pinpoint pass to Brandon Clark, who throws it down. Boston, though, led it by 11 at the half. In the third, Ja Morant putting the moves on Grant Williams. whoop de do. Don't mind if I do. It's Morant finishing at the bucket. And then Ja getting it done on the defensive end. Oh, my goodness. Malcolm Brogdon, you'll get nothing and you will like it. Boy, I can't lie to you guys. I get so scared when I see Morant in the air like that, but he lands the falling there. Speaking of falling, it's Marcus Spark going to his left. That's a deuce plus the foul. And then Tatum rejoining the highlight. Celtics go up 11 again as Tatum leaks out and Tatum throws it down. 39 points for JT. Boston again honing an 11-point lead. Here comes Memphis again. Morant, another three. He had 30. Josh's going to miss right there. But he's got a sniper to the left of him. It's Desmond Bain with the top of the key three-pointer. And just like that, we got a one-point game. After some Celtics free throws, Ja gets a chance to tie. Memphis had no timeouts. They will not get a look up as Morant slips. And the Celtics hold on to the three-point road victory. Boston improves to 7-3 on the season. Memphis falls to 7-4 on the season. A big time matchup, maybe a finals preview. John Moran and the Memphis Grizzlies hosting Giannis under the Kumpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. And let's just say Giannis and Milwaukee didn't bring their A game, and Memphis did. Early on, Morant knocks down a three. And then how about Giannis the Greek freak knocks down the deuce? He had 19 points. So here's the thing: if Giannis only has 19 points, that means either Milwaukee won by a lot, which is usually what it is or they lost by a lot. In this one, they lost by a lot. John ja Morant and one. Tyus Jones gives Memphis a 17-point lead early in the second with that three. Dylan Brooks was going at Chris Middleton all game in this one. Chris Middleton actually had one of the worst games of his career. He's still trying to find his way from injury. John ja Morant did not have one of the worst games of his career. Morant everywhere for Memphis who had a 29-point lead at the half. This is a butt kicking that continued in half number two. Morant to Steven Adams. And then Jaron Jackson extends the Grizzlies' lead to 33. Dylan Brooks continuing to put his foot figuratively on the neck of Chris Middleton. And then Ja in transition. Dangerous play from Thanastas under the Kumpo. Josh spit it in midair. It's like, did I just make that? Man, I'm good. Well, Ja, at this point, only in the game chasing a triple double. He goes up top to Brandon Clark on a little pick and roll action. Ja Morant, in just 26 minutes of action, had a triple double 25, 10, and 10. It's the quickest triple double in Memphis Grizzlies franchise history. Memphis puts it on Milwaukee 142 to 101 wow bring it on down to the m town john ja moran and the memphis grizzlies hosting darius garland and the cavaliers by the way there was a lot of talk last year of who was better between garland and ja so far i feel like ja's been better this year but they go at it early in the first job ja with the score after garland score jaron jackson's gonna line up a three-pointer in the second and he'll knock it down He's not alone. Desmond Bain popping that thing, starting to find his rhythm, coming back from injury. Memphis up by 17 and counting. It's Ja out in transition, and who wants to stop that? Isaac Okora's got some defense, but uh, he don't even want to try Ja Morant. Morant with a beautiful, what did he just do right there? To Sani Odama, look at this beautiful swerve on him pass behind the back and you gotta make the three after a beautiful pass like that any who second half this game would tighten up garland dishing it all over the place jared allen how about this little boy day tomorrow grown man deuce plus the foul even when garland's passes don't go as expected he hustles taps it to karis levert who throws it down cavaliers up a point grizz has got a response 
Desmond Bain led them in scoring with 25. Memphis up by Deuce. Garland's got three more. He had 24 points and 14 dimes. Cavaliers up one. Morant to the rack. He had 24 points and eight assists. Memphis back out in front. It's a one-point game. Garland, one of those 14 dimes inside to Evan Mobley. Monster double-double, 18 and 15. Cavaliers go back up a point. Last chance for Memphis. Jod, no. Steven Adams, yes. Grizzlies up a point. Last chance for the Cavs. Garland rejected by Dylan Brooks. Sent him down a 201 pop lip. He ain't getting out tonight. It's Dylan Brooks with the huge play to help secure a Memphis Grizzlies dub. It's their 11th in a row. They beat the Cavs 115 to 114. John ja Moran and the Memphis Grizzlies have been struggling, losers of seven of eight, and it didn't get any easier with Ja out of the lineup due to a quote unquote wrist injury with the Toronto Raptors in the FedEx form, which meant Siakam could do Pascal like things for three. And then Thaddeus Young, he's played a couple games in Memphis. He'd help get the ball swung around to Scotty Barnes, who knocks in the three. Grizzlies looking for some offense. They find it through Desmond Bain. Bain inside to Brandon Clark for the jam. And then this time, Bain calling his own number. He had four three-pointers along with four assists for Memphis. Grizzlies up. Precious Achua has also thrown down a couple dunks in the FedEx form. He had 10 points. And then Fred Van Vliet for three. Raptors go back out in front. Let's take it to the second half. Xavier Tillman had 12 and nine. Grizzlies starting to create some distance between themselves and the Raptors. It's Bane again. He had a game high 26 points. And then how about the first time all-star Jaron Jackson inside. Gritting grinding his way for the deuce. Memphis getting away from Toronto. They're up nine in the fourth, but the Raptors got something to say. It's Chris Boucher with the putback jam. And then Siakam, who led Toronto in scoring with 19, gets that deuce to go. It's a one-point game. How about Scotty Barnes putting the Raptors up a point with 20 seconds to go? And then how about Barnes? With Toronto up by three, how about Scotty getting a stop on the other end as well? Jaron Jackson was trying to tie the game. Scotty said, you'll get nothing and you'll like it. Barnes with the score. Barnes with the stop. Raptors with the 106-103 win as the Grizzlies lose their eighth and nine games. The top two seeds in the Western Conference getting it on. From the FedEx Forum in Memphis, it's John ja Moran and the Memphis Grizzlies hosting your reigning two-time MVP, Nikolai Elgich, and the Denver Nuggets. We thought this one would be a really good game. We were wrong. Jokic kicks the highlight off, but John ja Morant's like, yo, I'll take this dance from here. Look at the beautiful English that Morant puts on that one. And then Ja showing you that he's more than just an attacker of the basketball showing you the shot and how about his backup tyrus jones had himself a game 17 points for tyrus look at the bottom left grizzly starting to expand their lead in the second it's desmond bain relentless in his approach leaving with a bucket memphis now up big over the denver nuggets it's john the lane it's a 29 point game where are your one seed nuggets at? Jaron Jackson, the beneficiary of a couple good passes from Brooks and Tillman. And then Bang looking and finding Brooks. Since you passed the ball so well earlier in the highlight, now I'm gonna give it back to you. It's Brooks knocking in the three. If Dylan's knocking in threes, you're in trouble, by the way. Now more of Ja Morant's just unreal athletic ability. How about Ja just Somehow, some way for his team making a play. Memphis up by 30 on the one seed. And then Ja caps off his 23-point night in Ja Morant-like fashion. And then I love this from Tyus Jones. This is the pull-up. Bye-bye, three-pointer. As the Denver Nuggets get routed off of the court, this is 
embarrassing. 112.94 was your final, and trust and believe the game wasn't that close. Here we go. Here we go again. Jonathan Kaminga unfortunately becomes the second player in as many nights to slip during warmups. He was ruled out for his Golden State Warriors contest against the Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies shorthanded but not making excuses. The three ball was working for them. Triple J, Tyrus Jones, Desmond Bain kicking Memphis off the right way. Then some other unsung heroes getting in the act. Santiago Dama and Luke Kennard capping off a eight for 15 start from Memphis in the first quarter from three. They put up 48 points and lead the Warriors by 20 after one second quarter. The chef cooking on Bill Street. It's Curry, some deep desperation type three pointers. 21-7 run gets the Warriors back in this thing. Right before the half is Dylan Brooks. I took some. I'm gutter. Don't trust me, dog. This that no Memphis. Brooks and Draymond getting to know each other personally and intimately. Warriors down 18 at the half. The greatest third quarter team ever makes a run in quarter number three, led by the Splash Brothers. A 13-2 run cuts the deficit down to single digits. Triple J still in his bag. How about Ty Jerome? Cutting the Warriors deficit down to seven after three, fourth quarter. Desmond Bain had 21 points. Dylan Brooks, normally bad from three, got a couple to go in this one. Arguably the best backup point guard in the league, doing his best job Moran impression. 22 points, 11 assists for Tyrus. Memphis taking all of the Warriors punches and still responding. Jackson had 21 points. It's Jones one more time. And it's Memphis getting a huge home victory over the Warriors who are continuing to struggle on the road. 131, 110 is your final from the grind house. If you enjoyed the quality content, what I need you to do before you get up out of here is make sure you subscribe to the platform. It's truly the best way that I grow. It's free 99. So please make sure you take care of that business. You know what city I'm from. I'm from Memphis now. Let's just keep that in perspective. Now. Make sure you subscribe to the platform. If you enjoyed the quality content, don't just come on my video. Enjoy this great content that I edited and put my hard work, time, efforts, all that great stuff in and leave. Make sure you make this relationship official. We in a partnership now. We in a bromance, a relationship, whatever you want to call it. We locked in right now. That subscribe button locks you in with your boy and you will know exactly when I'm posting more quality content. It's right inside my city. Yeah. And my skip base. <laughs> Memphis Grizz is a phenomenal home team, man. I'm out.